Uh, the reason why I have this video is to help uh, certain people out that don't have an education in um, electronics engineering. And uh, there's basically three things that I'd like to bring out uh, to help people. And that's uh, one, if you want to increase your uh, power output, uh, there's three basic ways of doing it. First is have uh, strong magnets and a lot of them because if you have uh, a lot of magnets kind of close together what happens is in one revolution or one cycle of your um, uh, generator you can produce a higher frequency and and the higher frequency is uh, good because then you'll be able to have uh, more voltage uh, the f formula for uh, creating energy from a generator suffice it to say the higher the frequency the the more the voltage on the output and the stronger the magnet the stronger the flux the magnetic lines of, of, of force is the flux so you can have uh, a, a strong magnet that will give you a lot of current. Now we know that uh, power is in electronics is basically two things voltage times current. Having uh, a strong magnet and a lot of them. The other thing is to have um, a lot of turns on the coils. I've seen a lot of uh, people putting out uh, generators that only have a few turns and that's fine if you don't want to generate a lot of voltage maybe you just want a, a situation where you only want uh, current and low voltage like 12 volts which that would be, be, be fine but uh, typically the more turns the more voltage you're going to have out you uh, can only afford uh, a generator that's that can only put out so much current but if that generator puts out a hundred or two hundred volts you only need a little bit of current remember power is, is current times voltage so if you have a, a hundred or two hundred volt generator and you're only putting out a hundred milliamps that's still quite a bit of power not kilowatts but it's, it's power so um, it's important to have a lot of turns. The other thing is, and the last thing, and to me the most important thing, is to have a iron core, which means um, it, you want to have iron in it. You don't have to have laminated uh, sheets like on a transformer, but ideally that would be the best because there's something called eddy currents, and there's something called uh, I square R currents and uh, so these are losses that you don't want to have and if you have a laminated core you can reduce those losses uh, there's nothing uh, like over unity there's no way you're going to have over unity uh, but at least you can minimize your losses and generate a lot of power uh, it's if you have a, a generator that generates kilowatts one two three or or even megawatts, that would be great, but that would be a mammoth thing that you couldn't probably turn. But just remember those three things and you'll make a great generator.